Yeah, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the Daily Digest, the first of the week. Okay, this this week uh, we are going to get a bit serious. Okay, um, in between the fun that we have, we do need to get serious. And um, what inspired today's program was a, um, a release. I don't know, well, a press release. I guess it was from uh, Femi Adesino. You know, um, Buhari's um, SSA Media. Listing the achievements of the of the Buhari government, and, and I found the release quite interesting, uh, very very informative. It had loads of information that I didn't even know about, and um, I was now asking myself, about six years into the Buhari administration, I'm just getting this kind of information, that one would, would at least have stored some of it, you know, yes, but some of it, to see it listed in such a manner. And, and so I was, I was, I was happy, you know, for the government. I was happy for, for Buhari, happy for Femi Adesina and all of them. But also, um, I didn't lose sight of the fact that there are two main uh, issues that that we quarrel with the Buhari government with, and that is that the issue of security and the economy. But having said that, it's not. It wasn't a con what you call a total failure, right? And I, and I wish they had been more proactive about this than hitherto, uh, if anything at all, like everybody would say, to put things in some kind of balance. And so therefore, I, I and of course, I've always quarreled, um, especially with the Lagos State government, about this idea of hyping, you know, hyping, wanting to put the governor out there. You know, I hear these kind of phrases. phrases. And um, for example, what caught me in, in the governor's case was this a uh, sudden, um, uh, how do I how do I phrase it now? All of a sudden, it looks as if the government Lagos has gotten into an award frenzy. Um, so many awards coming to the governor. Some he would attend personally, and so on and so forth. Now I have my I have my reservations about awards. To be honest with you, most of them are paid for. Let's just be, let's just get that one clear. Paid for either you know, in, in some kind of way, you end up dropping. And I say for me, an award is something that you deserve without you dropping a penny, without you, that's what is worth celebrating. And then you also need to know who is giving out this award. One of the easiest ways for what we call packaging, they call it packaging in, in the industry, is to put something together and say you are going to give somebody and now there's a rush of awards all over. I get letters every time asking me, we want to make you a fellow of this and a fellow of that, um, but we'd like you to pay this and pay that and so on and so forth. It's done all over the world. It's not peculiar to us. Even some of the honorary degrees that people tout, you, you don't want to know how these are done. But I said, let's have some kind of intellectual discussion, like I had with um, Tony Khan. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I had with um, Smokov. Like I had with um, Tony Khan. And I decided to bring my old-time friend, and colleague. We, we, you know, there are some names that are short and sharp. Everybody, even kids call me Jimmy Disu. They call me Jimmy Disu. They call me Uncle Jimmy Disu. They don't, they, you know, so Uncle Obi, that's, we, <laughs> we grew up together, Uncle Obi. Uh, but she's now Mrs. Uncle Obi Ogbolo. And, and uh, of course, she did mass come in Nigeria's only recognized U Nigerian university, Pepe Dem. If anybody doesn't like it, he can leave the studio for a while. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you, Jerry. <laughs> I, I, I know. I wasn't referring to you. I'm not referring to you. Okay. Uh, we'll still give you an honorary award in uni, like just to make up. <laughs> to, for, I, do, I don't need an award. <laughs> I don't want an award. Okay. Now, Uncle Lee has been in advertising. Okay. She went to Queen's College, the prestigious Queen's College. I don't know which of the houses she was in, whether it was a Basa house or a B house. Because I'm an honorary member of Queen's College, the girls, old girls association, if you get what I mean. Uh, that's a joke. And she worked, started, did mass comm, started uh, her career in Roosevelt. But what you need to know, what you need to know is that she manages her own company called Statecraft and has created award-winning campaigns for government and quasi-government. Uh, um, she's gotten awards for quasi-government campaigns. Guess what? She was, and I, I, I worked, well, I, I didn't work with her, but I caught her at it a few times. She was the one who handles Fashola's whatever during his tenure. And that is why 
I'm proud to say that uh, during his tenure, his, his publicity, whatever, was measured. It was quite measured, and that was because of the expertise that she brought to the job. So I'm going to discuss with Nkoli. I don't know if I have her on the phone. I do. Yes, you do. I, so you've heard all what I said. Uh, yeah, just, oh, yeah, you were not so supposed to hear. Yeah, I was supposed well, to say. Well, just praising me. <laughs> what do I owe all this love to you? Uh, uh, I'm not, pre you know, I didn't even know you were hearing, in all honesty. I, I just, but that's you. And, yes. and and you know and you know you know many a times I came to Anthony and caught you working on a campaign, mm -hmm. and I just busted. You know I'm also inclined to these things, so I was quite proud of the job that you did during the yeah. the fashion period. How are you this morning, Uncle? Oh, I'm very well. I'm very well. You can hear hear it in my voice. I'm full of high spirits. Ah uh, yes, and you be you... nice to connect with you once again now. After so many years, eh? After all that, I cock your business. Ah no, Uncle, <laughs> don't go there, please. Uncle, <laughs> don't. Don't even go there. Oh uh, the, the, the ears, the ears are straining here. They won't no, hear let this. Let them be straining. Uh -uh. We want to hear. We want to hear. Ah, no, to hear. don't go there. Okay. Shano mi bomila shiri. Ah, okay. Uh, Uncle will be here tomorrow also to do dear bomi. She's she's the first person I'm giving the honor of a two day appearance here, and, and it's, it's deliberate. It's because uh, you know I'm quite honored, and I'm happy for what she has achieved. Um, so I'd like to celebrate her as much as I could. So she'll be here tomorrow live. You'll be able to see her live. She's not available, you guys. Are, so, but it's her live tomorrow <laughs> when she comes. <laughs> when she comes for dear Bumi. Uncle, how are you? Now let's get down to business. Uncle, right. I, I've been quite worried mm. about how the both the federal and state governments have conducted themselves in the media. In yes. the case of in the case of the federal, I've found that they are they are so reactive, they are not proactive. And and I don't know whether it has to do with that. I'll take them one by one, but just to lay the ground. In the case of the Lagos State, I, I, what I see is yes, a lot of moves. Um, you know, PR moves to quote and unquote put the government and the governor in bad light. But what you see is more of hyping than um measured you know, measured and calculated moves that yeah. would, uh, you know, uh, because I, I, I'm so afraid uh, for Lagos that they don't turn the governor into into some kind of huh. megalomaniac, which he is not. Um, so I will discuss the two issues. Let's start with the federal. Are you happy with the way um, the two gentlemen, the two SSAs, uh, conduct, you know, the, con, you know, the way they handle the media affairs of the president? And in the huh. first instance, was it wise to have had two instead of one? Aha. Uh -huh. Because, you know, they, you, you know, they'll be jostling. Yes. You know that kind of a thing? They'll be jostling. Mm -hmm. Jostling to find favor, to, look, to find the face of their principal. Hmm. You know? And that is not, not such a good thing. In the first place, I, 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 I know that um, communication evolves, but there are still some basic, basic theories about communication. Number one, You've got to have your communication plan. Yeah. It is essential. And you have to follow through with that plan. Because it's a guide. It, it guides you. Hmm. In 21st century communication, as I said, communication has also evolved. You've got to think about the best practices. The best practices for uh, 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 disseminating information, especially from government. Hmm. You know why? Because... The citizenry are skeptical about government, hmm. especially now that, that I mean, that with, with a situation like ours where there's so much insecurity, yes. and then people are seeing things and government is saying another thing. Today, one governor will say uh, uh, some lofty things. Tomorrow, he will say some deranged things. So hmm. how do you reconcile all of these notions? It is because, fundamentally, the communication plan is faulty. Now, Jimmy, I can tell hmm. you that there are eight or so best practices, you know, in communication or to develop your communication plan. Hmm. And I can't see it manifesting itself in, in, in uh, what these two gentlemen are doing. Hmm. It is as if they've jettisoned the idea of doing things professionally. I it see. is like a fight to finish. Who are they fighting with? The citizenry, the hapless citizenry, who don't have the arms to fight um, um, government. Uh, they've so 
subdued their citizenry with the propaganda, because that is what it is also. Yes. It is no longer communication or effective communication. It is a propaganda machinery calculated to subjugate. Hmm. And therein lies the sadness of it all. But I tell you that when you come to communication, you've got to, as I said, there are eight best practices the world over, from hmm. Canada to Australia. So what's this, what is it with us that we cannot emulate something that is good? Mm. Now, with government, it has to be one government, one voice. That's why I said that two people spewing stuff on behalf of government is not such a good thing. Well, it's on behalf of the presidency, though, because you have a third person, the Minister for Communications, also yes. speaking on behalf of government. So why all these people? Press secretary, number one. A, a, a senior a, a, a social assistant, all kinds of nomenclature. Mm, doing what the same are they thing. all doing? Everybody has ego uh, uh, issues. So somebody will come and tell one person that he left communication school 20 years before he was born. You know, all those, all those small, small things that, you know, make or break communication. Mm. These are things that are going on uh, underneath that we, the citizenry, have, have no uh, 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 business with and have no clue about, mm. are playing out all over there. So this one sends something today, this one sends, and creates confusion. And that is what is called noise in communication. You and I know that. Yes. Um, but, but also, you know, the one of the SSs, of the, two SSs of the president, but one is particularly more combative than the other. Are you supposed to be combative on this kind of job? Sorry? I said what you get from the two SSAs at some point is combativeness, you know, going all out there yeah, to fight. Yeah, bombardment. Yes. Um, is that right? Is that a right strategy? It is, uh, bombardment is noise. Hmm. Bombardment is noise. You know now. Yes. In input, output, in, the in between, uh, uh, there's feedback, there's noise. So this bombardment is noise. Hmm. Is noise. Now, if it was so structured that one person... You know, or, or, uh, 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 he's taking directives from the minister himself, who is the head honcho mm. of the communication team. You know, he he has to give direction. One, it's it, one government, one voice. You know, that is the first rule. You know, of mm. first best practice, one government, one voice. Now, the second part or aspect of it is the that the audience. I mean, you must be audience centric. The communication must be audience centric. Now, we are the receivers. You are giving us stuff. We are the receivers. So, whatever you are giving us, you know, must align with our own expectations of what this government has also, you know, promised when they were coming into power. Yes. And then, you have to have agile communication teams. I don't see agility in all of these things. Like you initially said, they are reactive rather than. Proactive, proactive, combative, yes. rather than having emotional intelligence to understand what the populace mm. requires. And Jimmy, mm. do you know that we don't have to send out, it's not all the messages that we, must, we should be sending out. Yes. If we're emotionally intelligent, then, mm. then, then, then we, should, we, should, we, should, we should stop at some point and say, is this, I mean, like, like uh, 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 this people, Rotary Club, is it right? What will it yield at the end of the day? Is this communication good for all? Is it not? You know, so you must be able to decipher what you are bringing out. And that is teamwork. You sit at the table and say, guys, please, what is not that somebody is rushing, you know, like, uh, uh, I'm sorry to say, journalists. Mm. They get a so-called scoop. And yes. they're rushing away. They have not verified nothing. They just want to break the news. And at mm. the end of the day, they burn their fingers. Well, I was also I was also looking at the issue of how the how government handles criticism how government? Affect, handles criticism. Um, we have seen cases where they take on the critic, and I usually in in, in the federal government's case, for example, there was a time they took on Obasanjo, and and, mm -hmm. and and insulted the man, um, and I didn't think that was proper. Uh, mm. I felt that the job of the spokes whoever is handling the go is to build bridges and not destroy them. And that the federal government must show the capacity to absorb criticism without, yeah, yeah. Start, you know, without I, 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 I getting into a street fight with who, who, with street fight with whoever has. No matter what you think personally, 
personally about such a person. I believe the presidency should be sacred. Um, and, and you don't seem to get any of that, you, mm -hmm. you know. Um, well, you know, let me tell you, you, you've got to also monitor the antecedents of government. Yes. You know, the antecedents. If you, if, you, you see from where they're coming coming there, eh, mm. that they've been combative. I see. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't take criticism lightly. Yes. So it is in their aura, so to speak. Mm. However, I don't agree with it. You see, the ability to take criticisms. The criticisms are not necessarily that they want to guillotine you. No. Yes. The, the, we, are, we have every right, our fundamental human right, uh, is to survive and thrive. Mm. You know? And the government must hearken to those simple needs. Mm. Simple needs. Now... It's so it's so terrible that we can't to even to even feed in our nation now mm -hmm. is very very problematic. Yes. Who is going to be hailing a government that cannot provide social amenities for her people? Mm. You know, look at the road, Jimmy. You mm. cannot believe it. I went out yesterday, and then the rain was falling in Ikoyi, Ikoyi of all places, mm. and the flood was a mile high. Hmm. You know, in front of Nigerian Industrial Court. Yes. That is a government establishment. In front of Nigerian Industrial Court, and the, the, the water was a mile high. Hmm. And people would say they live in Ikoi, and people outside of this country, when they come, they say they want to live in Ikoi, they want to live on Banana Island. Island, yeah. They want to live in some part of Lekki, because not all parts of Lekki that are livable, really. Yes. It's just like a glorified mushin, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> and God, mm -hmm. come again. So, <laughs> agile, agile communication uh, uh, teams must be put in place. Not this combative one that we have. Oh, okay, but, we... but 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 let, let's even get started. Where we should actually should have started from is what kind of person would you advise for those who are coming up wanting to be president, what wanting, kind of wanting what? to be governor? No, listen, what kind of... Those who are coming up wanting to be president, what kind of governor... Who, what should be the background of those you will give this responsibility? Because the thinking usually is that you want to look for a journalist. Okay? But I, I believe that rather you should be looking for somebody who is well-versed in, in communications and strategy. Of course. And not a famous journalist. No! Because... because uh -huh. That is making that mistake. That yes. is making that mistake of, 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 of uh, hiring journalists to take up a... Uh, uh, communication uh, positions. Yes. No. This is somebody who has learned the ropes of mass communication. Mm. Because there are different theories. When I was in school, we had, we had professors of uh, communication theory, you know, mm -hmm. and we, if a, a journalist will just put pen to paper, he wants to break the news and everything, maybe he's not versed in communication strategy. Yeah. And like, like you said, Strategy is the word. You see that word, that also important word called strategy, mm. Jimmy, is what is of utmost importance in delivering communication. Mm. You have to be strategic. Mm. You have to have a communication plan. I know that communication says the four Ws are one H, mm. which is the, the very basic, you know. Mm. But there are, there are policies, there are practices. There are best practices. Okay. And that's what I was trying to enumerate for you. That if you do not learn it that way, mm. a journalist cannot come and effective. him. He will still be in that garb. Garb, yes, yes. Yes. Wanting oh, to push, oh. out, push out news. <laughs> the news release. Oh. the news release. Yes. yes. Okay, Nkali, we're going to have to take a break. Um, Why? So don't go anywhere. We're going to take a break. I have to Had pay my problem. bills. Uh, and um, we'll take a, when we come back, of course, we'll continue with this discussion. And then we'll okay. open up our lines, 0700-993-993-993 for our listeners to call in. And also, the other line for females only, 014657. Don't ask me. Don't ask me. 014657. Okay, now. Where is the segregation, please? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, okay. We, we, 
We pepper less. Uh, okay. No, you don't be pepper less. You don't become man self. I don't become self. <laughs> okay, we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. All right. Yes. Are you there? I'm here. Ah, very good. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Daily Digest. Thank you. With, with the Jimmy Disu and I still have Uncle Obi Obolo. Uh, I could call Uncle Amongst our friends, we call Uncle Obi. It's like one name. <laughs> okay, Uncle, back to what we were dis, uh, discussing. Yes. Um, um, I'm sorry to get personal, you know, with, with these things, but if we want a real true perspective, we can't but mention the fact that. You handled the communications for the Lagos State government. Hello. I can't hear you, Jimmy. Oh, can you hear me now? I can hear you loud and clear. Loud and clear, good. I, I said that even though we don't want to go personal, but we can't take away the fact that you handled the campaign that I love so much, and you seem to have I handled, handled what? You handled a, a state government, the Lagos State government, yeah. during Fashola's tenure. Now. Yeah, part Part of it, not wholly. Not wholly. Fair enough. But the bit that you did, we saw. Um, what guided you in, in, in putting together the campaign for the government at that time? Did oh, it okay. have... I mean, sorry, one, let me finish. Did it have to do with the disposition of your principal? Yes. Definitely. Okay. Now, tell me your experience. It was, it was profound because I interviewed him. Okay. And, yes, I interviewed him and he... We, I mean, it was a two-hour interview, which I asked questions, what were his plans, and all of that. Mm. And he was very articulate. Mm. Very brilliant person, really. Mm. And so I took down all the notes, and that was how uh, 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 we came up with the uh, campaign strategy. Yes. And the deployment. Yes. And so what was the guiding principle? Uh, um... Well, I mean, I, he had, he 
he had articulated his manifesto, which was why we came up with a simple coinage actualizer. And that just spells out his uh, mani- manifesto. Mm. It was just simple, really. And it's just caught on. But, but, but some people felt that, that he, he was a bit media shy. Was it deliberate to keep his, um, his image under control? Well, I think that his background being a lawyer, too. Yes. But I'm not sure that he's media shy now. No, no, it's not media shy. Uh-huh, it grows on you. Mm. Have you watched developments after he left? Have you watched developments in, well, in yes, that area? I have, I have. Uh, can you give me your opinion of what you have observed? Uh, right from the previous governor to this one. Well, you can you can you can you can see that he he he's, he's quite dynamic, embraces change. Mm. You know, he may be a bit hemmed in now because he's at the federal level, but when he was at the state level, he was quite a champion. I'm sure you know that. Yes. Uh-huh. Now I'm talking about the, the subsequent governments, Lagos state governments. That oh, are, are ah. you are you happy with the way they've conducted uh, their media, whatever media strategy? No, and so no, on no, so no, forth? no, 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 no. Seriously. And can you tell me why? Uh, because because the strategic direction is what is missing. Mm, I see. What the do you mean by strategic direction? Uh, you see, like, as I said earlier, that strategy is a key component mm. of uh, communication. Yes. You know, and they so aptly named him when, uh, uh, during uh, uh, Ashwaju's uh, time, when it was, it was the, the, the um, information um, ministry was called information and strategy. Yes. You see that it was a deliberate thing to bring strategy, yes, strategy into play. As a unit on the, inside it. Yes. And that made all the difference because, you see, information is key, yes, but how are we going to uh, leverage the information? Has strategy it, been dropped now? No, it has not been dropped, but um, more of it is focused on information rather than the strategy. Mm. So, mm. in that way, mm. I can say that they, they've kind of downplayed it. And then uh, 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 all this pushing out stuff, all this pushing out stuff, and uh, there is no common thread. You know, it's, it's uh, like chest beating. Like we've assumed some megalo, uh, 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 maniac kind of disposition. Mm. You, you, you understand? Uh, um, it's, um, it's, I, I think that, like I said, they, they should go back to the, the communication plan, you know, and uh, hone in on the best practices for delivering information mm. you know they should they should focus on on uh, groundbreaking strategic communication planning work it's a mouthful but it is what they must do it, it must be groundbreaking such that people see it people feel it and people know it mm-hmm. right now we see a lot of disparate messages uh, they're doing this, they're doing this, they're doing this, they're doing this. They're, you know, what is the common thread? What they're just doing is public enlightenment campaigns as opposed to strategic direction in communication. Mm. And there are two different things, you know. Public enlightenment is different from a study communication plan that follows through year in, year out. At the end of the day, is measurable, is evaluated. Hmm. And you can report on the progress. Hmm. Okay. You know? So yes. Hmm. So some people, back to federal level, though, some people believe that really you shouldn't be having a minister for information. Some people believe that that at federal level, for example, or even at state level, you shouldn't be having a minister or commissioner for information. We should what, be what, what? A minister for information. Rather, you should have a director for information who embraces both the presidency. And because in the first instance, government shouldn't even be owning information, uh, NBC, uh, yes, NTA, NANS, and it shouldn't be owned by government. That's all. They should be held in trust by the people. Can you see the chaos now? Yes. You know, but, but what we do is, and like you rightly said, what you do is spew out propaganda day in, day out, and, and then lose the, the whole essence of communicating between, you know, with and between the people. Okay, we, we are going to open up our lines now. I'd like to take the first call. Um, if you just give me one minute. So, Kali, just hold on. Let me take the first call here. Yeah. 
हेलो हेलो मॉर्निंग हेलो हेलो मॉर्निंग मैं Did you say mommy? Or no, 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 I said morning, man. No, I said morning. Ah. You just hold on. I'm, I'm trying to get one of our callers. People are calling in. Hold on. Hello. Good morning. Hello. We, ha- we haven't gotten it yet. Okay, we have one now, right? Hello. Hello. Yes, morning. Good morning. Yes. Hello. I can hear you. Oh no, you, you, should. <laughs> you keep getting in the way. Hmm. We keep getting in the way. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's continue our discussion. Um, we'll, we'll take the calls as they come. So when I just say I want to, I want to talk to, uh, you know, callers, you just hold on there, okay? Okay, now we have one. We have, Hello, have, morning. Hello, good morning. 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 Yes, Um. thank you so much. It's been... Good morning. Nkoli, can you hear? Hello, Nkoli. Can you hear me? Hello. Uh, I think we lost Nkoli herself. Okay, let me let me hear this. Um, whilst we try to get uh, Nkoli back on the line. Hello, good morning. Okay, let me, let me... Oh my God. Hello. Hello, good morning, sir. Morning, please go on. Yes, sir. My name is Kyle Demogadi, sir. Yes, Kyle Demogadi. Good morning. Yeah, Uncle Jimmy. Yes. Hello. Yes, yeah, go on. Okay. okay, so one of the one of the um, biggest problems I actually think is the mentality of the political class. So they actually think is by trying to subjugate the or. Tra- oh, we lost, we lost that again. Kadi Mogadi, please, please call back. I think we have some communications problem here. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning. Good morning. morning. My name is Adeola. Yes. Good morning. Morning. Go on. Thank you, Uncle Jimmy. Yes. Um, so I would really like to, you know, emphasize what Uncle said earlier on in the interview. Yes. Um, the, the, you know, the fact that we journalists are... Uh, selected to fill in roles that should be communications roles and the lack of a strategy in what we're seeing. I would also like to add that, um, again, if, yes, you know, communications has a huge role to play, especially strategic communications, yes. but they also need to be walking the talk um, hmm. because, you know, communications cannot fill the gap if they are not walking the talk. I see. Everything should go hand in hand, and that's where strategy comes to play. Mm. So that's um, you know just one thing I I wanted to highlight. But thank you so much for this time. I I really hope they get the message, okay. and you know they understand. You know um, what's being said. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. God bless you. Uh, we have another caller. We're trying to get Nkoli back on the line. We will any minute from now. Hello, good morning. Hello. 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 Hello, good morning. Morning. Who's calling, please? Oh, the name is Gabriel. Gabriel. Good morning, Mr. Gabriel. How are you? Um, I would like to comment briefly on uh, the people that handle the presidency and the people that handle the Lagos State. Presently. Please speak quickly. You have just a minute, sir. Okay. Now, yes. uh, uh, the presidency, it seems like um, communication is all about uh, combativeness. Yes. Um, they don't actually feel the pulse of the people to know how to even get information out to them. Mm-hmm. First of all, the common man doesn't believe anything coming from them, and they are not aware of this. Coming to that of Lagos State, there seems to be too much talk, 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 as if they are running a campaign Yes. for the position. Okay. Yeah, so, they, 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 I mean, we need to see more action. And again, in Lagos State, they, do so, they say so many things that they fail to do, or they don't even remember they have said this and said that. 
Mm. Jimmy, you can remember when they told us by, that by a certain date, Okada will be phased out. Yes. All removed. It's all forgotten now. Hmm. Okay. On Thank a you. private note, Jimmy, you in particular, mm. if it is possible, take my number. If it is possible, take my number and just flash me. I'll call you back. Mm. I I ask for this honor. With all humility, I'm about 11 years older than you. So uh, um, there is something we need to discuss and to benefit Nigeria. Mm. Let me just put it that way. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> it's not by mind and it's not by age. But I, I like the part that you threw the 11 years at me. Isn't Koli back? Nkoli, can you hear me? I can hear you. Yeah, did you hear um, the comments that were made? I, did, I didn't hear if you know. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Uh, well, we did, we did have two or three people commenting uh, and, you know, virtually saying the same I things. I don't know what's that, but uh, wrong with the volume. I, can, I, can ha I couldn't hear him at all. Yes, uh, we were having the But slight... I heard something about age. No, well, no, the age part was that he said I should call him. And that he's 11 years older than me, and therefore... Can you imagine? Hey, but that, <laughs> I, I'm not, I don't feel offended by that. <laughs> I just wondered why he had to he had to throw in that age bit. I'm telling you, it's not, uh, it's not necessary. It's, no, it's an African thing. It's an African thing. Um, it's an African thing. Okay, so now, um, the, the, are these things that we talk about, both federal and state, are they redeemable? Is the situation redeemable? Hello, can you hear me? I'm, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing you, but I'm not hearing you. Oh. How can you be hearing me and not hearing me? Can I'm you hear me? Now. Can you hear I'm me? Because, loud? I'm, a, I'm a copywriter. I I'm know, you, but I'm not hearing you. I know. So you understand what I mean? Yeah, I understand I, what you mean. I can hear some noise, but I can not decipher what you're saying. But can you hear me now? Oh no, we we lost all that. Okay, I think we'd better just knock it off. Um, knock it off. Well, we we have to we have to put put an end to the discussion with, with Nkoli. We'll be, she'll be here again tomorrow. Um, she'll come to the studio actually. That's why I like in studio things other other than telephone or Skype because uh, the tele the telecoms we have in Nigeria now the network is 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 not no not too good to talk about. Um, you keep half communication problem breaks and so on and so forth. So we we'll spend the next five ten minutes just getting ideas from from our listeners. If we can call, if we can call in, let's try and pick one call there. Hello, good morning. Hello. Hello, good morning. Yeah, my name is Taya Lafe. Yes. Good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Good morning, sir. Thanks for bringing a team called Yes. Yes, I've, I've known artists like days in Rosabel. Oh, yes. In my um, local house. Yes. I need to because I work for one of your mutual friends, Mr. Larry Do. Yes. Yeah. I thank you for the for the topic. We can find out that most of those we have managing communication for our political class are not practitioners. Mm. I mean, they are not professional. Like hmm. you said, like she, you said, like she said, everything is about strategy. Yes. It's not about me versus them. Hmm. It's about taking your principal and explaining the, the, the point. Like like the last uh, press release from um, Mr. The USA to the president. Yes. It's the kind of thing that should be emanating from the communal perspective of the political class. Yes. Not because uh, about a job around your principal, the next thing is for you to start saying, ah, this is who he is, and this is not. That, that, that's no communication. Yes. That's all, all, only just being combative. Hmm. I thank you so much. I think our police should be able to reject their, their communication department to have people who are not really journalists, but people who are communication professionals. Yes. They are able to see things through. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, let me let me remind our listeners that what inspired the, today's topic really is the beautiful, um, uh, well, don't let me, uh, well, nice release that came from Femi Additional explaining a lot of things, and I found that quite refreshing, and found it quite useful, 
um, rather than this combativeness, insulting this and insulting that. I found that quite useful. And I wish they will continue on that path. Um, so that, especially for those of us now who comment on issues, it helps us put things in a proper perspective. And, and, and uh, I'm hoping I can take up Femi Additional on that um, release sometime this week. I hope I, I'll be able, but I'm so scared about doing these things on phone. That's, it's, I'm a bit reluctant, and I've been proven right now. Otherwise, I'd have gotten him this morning, uh, uh, you know, from Abuja. But the the communications we have, I'm so frightened about it that it could mess up the whole thing. But we'll see what we can do. Maybe one of these days when he's in Lagos, we'll be able to take him on. Let's take another caller there. Hello, good morning. Good morning, sir. Morning. Uh, this is Pastor Ladi for calling from Murile Gum. Pastor, stop introducing yourself. We know you. Once you say good morning, we know that it's you. We'll, we'll, <laughs> okay, just, sir. we'll just say good morning, Pastor. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Jimmy? Yes. Now, with everything that has been listed, yes. I want to ask you, thank God you said you've read it and all of that. How do you think those achievements are reflecting in the life of the common citizen, those mm. achievements listed so far. Yes. Because we are talking about communication here. Yes. So that is my question. Now that those achievements that have mm. been listed, mm. how far have they have direct impact in the life of the citizen? Thank okay. you. Well, this is this is the way I this is the way I look at it. Um, first of all, it, it makes you realize. That is not as if the president has been sitting down and doing absolutely nothing. Secondly, infrastructural development is very key. And it is refreshing to know that this government has embarked on it, especially in the area where there is emphasis on finishing ready, uh, finishing, you, you know, certain projects rather than embarking on, on uh, you know, some new, you understand what I'm saying? Um, it's refreshing. It, it will impact on some people. It might not impact on all. I think the major problem of the federal government is the neglect of the very sensitive issues. That is security. And it, it looks as if the economy is slipping out of their hands. Now, that once, once uh, there's what we call easy picking. The easy picking for any country at all is security and economy. Once your economy is whatever and, and you know, your defense is fairly okay, then whether you do infrastructural development or not, it wouldn't matter. But what what the release has done, at the very least, is to show that this gentleman has not been sleeping after all. It's not as if he's been doing absolutely nothing. It's just that the key elements seem to have been either neglected or poorly handled. So that's what, what it does for me, and that's that's the message that I get. Um, so what it, what it then means is that the government is not a complete write-off, okay? It's not a complete write-off. The, one of the major elements um, of criticism against this go government is fairness. We're talking of federal. It's fairness and some level of nepotism, you know, uh, where things are skewed in one, one way against the other and could have been avoided. But that brazen attitude... You know, that brazen, the impression you get is you, you can do your worst. This is what we are going to do. Uh, not taking care of the sensitivities of various peoples of Nigeria. I'm using peoples deliberately. Um, that seems to be the undoing of this government. And I think it's very unfortunate. Um, it's been difficult for us to try to unite this country right from the 60s. Don't forget we went through a civil war of about four to five years. And so it's been difficult, very difficult, for, for us to keep this country together. And now a, a government comes and is insensitive to that fact. You know, and, and see where it has gotten us, all kinds of agitations. Some Yoruba people want a Yoruba nation, some Igbo people want Biafra, you know, and, and many more like that. Um, this could have been avoided if there had been a central sense of purpose and fairness to all. And we haven't done that. Uh, so that's that's where I believe that uh, problem lies. Can I take one more call or so, one or two more, then we'll be out of here. Hello, good morning. Hello, good morning, Uncle Jimmy. Morning. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, it's like you do more much more talk than uh, speaking calls this morning. 
Uh, well, um, you know that the, the Daily Digest is a magazine program, and we discuss, we don't interview. Exactly. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's why, and then because the, the lines are, exactly. the lines are bad, so I had to, yeah. yes. Yeah, thank you, Uncle Jimmy. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll say you first, I'll, I'll love to uh, thank you for, for the, for the gift last time, because I, I came to the studio there, and I got my gift, and I appreciate you for that. Oh, that's good. I'm happy. Yes, and, uh, uh, Uncle Jimmy, you see, uh, in the aspect of uh, our, our our government in terms of communication, yes, you see, they, it's not that the, the the government don't know what to do actually for the citizens. Mm. But the, 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 the the central the central desire of the citizens is not what they plan to do for this for, for for the citizens. It is what they plan to do for themselves. Mm -hmm. And once these, these, these people get to the office, that is what they do. It's not that yes. they don't listen to us. Yeah, you mean like the way we are speaking this morning, everybody is making, making uh, his own opinion known. It's yes. very obvious that even them, some of them, some of the ministers, they are listening to us. But the issue is, will they do what the citizen asks them to do? No, because when they get to the position there, they do different things. And, and all these things boils down to the foundation that we lay. Like what you are talking about, the position of people taking dominance in a federal level mm. in times of uh, uh, nepotism, tribalism. Yes, mm. all this, all this thing started from the beginning, and this is the problem we are still we are still battling on Kujini. So, what the only solution to all this problem is when we start thinking that an Alsa man is is a, is a brother to Igbo man, and an Igbo man is a brother to Yoruba man, and Igbo Yoruba man sees a, 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 another tribe or uh, uh, and a German. So when we begin to see ourselves as one, all these things we we will be the thing of the past. But mm. unfortunately, if we cannot do that, Uncle Jimmy, we remain where we remain in this country. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank, thank you. you I, I'll take just one more call, and that, and then we'll call it a day. Okay. Hello. Good morning. Very quickly, I have just one minute. Hello. Hello. No, the call is caller is gone. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we'll have to call it a, a day at this point. I'd like to thank uh, Mrs. Nkoli Obi Ogbolu, you know, for, for her contribution. I, I do apologize that we couldn't take her in full. But the good news, though, is I should be back here tomorrow for Dear Bumi. And maybe what I'll do is see if I can sneak in one or two, one or two, if I can sneak in one or two um, comments or whatever, if I can sneak one or two comments from what we could have spoken about today. But she'll be here tomorrow for Dear Bumi, and I promise you it's going to be hilarious. You've seen how how we are two of a kind. So we're in, and, and she's a very strong woman. Uh, she's a strong woman. She's, uh, what, what you're about to call Obinibi uh, Okonini. Uh, very, very strong, I, I know. And guess what? She has all boys. <laughs> she has, she's a big. So tomorrow is going to be real good fun uh, with Uncle in the studio. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you for listening. I'd like to thank him. Um, Kikiri just left, and uh, Zainab is here. All of you know Kikiri. If you don't know him as Kikiri, at least you know him as Dimeji. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know him as uh, Dimeji, okay, so you know him as Sheriff. I gave him those two names, Dimeji and Kikiri. No, he gave himself Kikiri uh, when he was playing soccer. So he was here. Uh, thank you very much, Sheriff. And thank you very much, Zainab. Uh, Philip, thanks. Uh, so once again, I'm going to, and I'll never tire to keep asking you, if you have the opportunity to be vaccinated, do not throw it away. I'll see you tomorrow at 9. Bye. Ninety nine point three Nigeria Info. We are more than just radio. Subscribe to our YouTube channel at Nigeria Info FM. Check us out on Facebook at Nigeria Info ninety nine point three. Follow us on Twitter at Nigeria Info FM and on Instagram at Nigeria Info FM Lagos for live updates as it happens. Ninety nine point three Nigeria Info. Let's talk. 